All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Zareth support. We're running First Strike Boots, Biscuits, Cosmic Insight, Scorch, and Mana Flow. He currently has the highest win rate right now for support in Silver. And I think it's because in Silver, not everybody knows how to play against him because as the rank goes up, his win rate goes down drastically because... You can now play Zareth by either dodging his spells or picking stuff that's good into him, like Engage, so. What they picked was a Vayne and an Annie. It doesn't have much sustain in this lane, and they're fairly short range, so a Zareth should be able to poke them pretty easy. So we're going to go Ludens into Shadow Flame. Usually don't hit many more items than that unless the game goes long, but yeah. You can start W and try to poke. I missed, but I got first strike. Three gold. I sometimes prefer starting Q, even though W start is a little more reli reliable, but Bane can tumble out of it, so I need to try and hit Annie. Or both of them. Hey, look, a level 2 gank from Amundo. I'm just going to ignite Annie. I cut the heal in half. Uh, Amundo is going to get very low here. Okay, she just didn't heal. Well, Jinx should have healed uh, Mundo. I think we're fine, though. We're fine. Annie doesn't have Flash, so I just stay on her. Okay. I mean, <laughs> that went really bad, but it actually ended up being good. Because, oh. I'm stay in the minions. I'll slow him. And maybe beat him. Nice! I used that big minion wave. Even got his flash. Oh my god. What a chaotic start. Well, I have two kills. This is this is the biggest minion wave I've ever seen. Okay, so Vayne might be a little bit ahead of Jinx because of this farm, but she didn't get to buy anything besides a sword. Jinx has boots at least. That was a little crazy. Let's do double book. Honestly, I might buy a seal. I'm going to buy a seal. And this. I could wait for a book, which is actually what I should have done because the wave's not going anywhere right now. Let's see. The rest of their team, I'm not that great verse. I'm good versus these two. If I can get really fed. All right. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Zara supports lately, and they've been going Leandri's, which is good too. It would be all right here, but Ludens is just going to provide more damage, I think. See, Vayne has no tumble, no flash. Oh, well, now she has no flash. Oh, she's slowed. There we go. Two stacks on the seal. Do I get an assist on this? Did I do anything? No. Mundo got the kill. Wish Jinx would have got that other one, but it's fine. Um, the only downside is Jinx is going to lose all these minions. Because she didn't fix the wave before she chased them. We do Q-Max. We need to push this wave. Bane's gonna go blade first. I wanna get some first strike money. He's gonna tumble, but maybe if I just throw out a random stun, we get Junker. Warwick jungler without flash and without level 6, it's really hard for him to gank. He just has to kind of walk in and hope he gets by our wards and stuff. But I can always just stun him and back up. So my job is just to make it so Vayne doesn't get to play the game. Jinx hits one more time. There you go. Free kill for Jinx. Warwick's marked me, but 
I mean, I think I'm above the health, so that means he pressed W. It went away. We gotta keep pushing the wave. We don't want to base with it freezing. I know I kind of took all those minions from Jinx, but she was gonna recall. So I ended up just getting her a plating now. Okay, now we can base. She wants another one. Okay. Well, if we stay this long, we have to clear another wave now, so I'll help her. I don't want to kill them. I just want to get them low. First strike before I go. Where'd Annie go? Okay, we'll just base. I don't want to get too greedy. We're already really greedy by overstaying. So nice, Vayne zero two. Vayne's a really hard champion to lane with too, because of her short range, and she has no sustain till blade is finished. I am and their engage is Annie. She's gonna flash alt or just flash stun, and then they go all in. But hopefully we can run over bot enough that Mordecai's or Warwick and Silas won't be too much of a problem. What I like to do is Zerat support. If I get really fed and we roll through bot and we get through turret, I just become the mid laner. I just go mid and do my thing. I don't know where Annie is. I think she based. Did the tumble. I was actually trying to hit Annie. Okay, I'm on a ward because that minion's hitting me when I'm in the bush. Maybe not. You just zone them. And I have boots now, so I should be able to get away. Warwick's top. So it's a 2v2 down here. Silas is winning mid. Oh my god, I could just alter. Oh my god, I don't miss. <laughs> oh yeah. Under their turret. Killed her. She didn't even have a chance. I don't think Jinx got that one. It's okay. Nice thing about this is like... What the... What the heck? Where did half my health go? You're stronger than the ADC early in Xerath if you get a kill. Like, you actually decide the lane more than the ADC does. You go mid now. Now we can go mid and try and take out Silas. Maybe Kindred goes bot. Kindred might be able to fight them. What the? Or it just got executed. Where? Huh? Got a Ludens. Early Sork Shoes are nice, too. I tend to keep the... I mean, I get Sweeper, but I don't always use it because Zareth has really low attack speed. And while you're clearing a ward, if people jump on you, you're pretty much dead. So I like to switch it for a blue trinket in, as soon as I can afford that, or the level. But yeah, for summoners, I like to take heal, but Ignite's really good too, because early level 2, you get stun. And then you stun Ignite, and it's a lot of damage. I Okay, good. My Q doesn't kill the casters. If I get any more fed, it will, though. Took a Jinx Salt. If I hit uh, Silas with a stun, he's actually dead. I think Silas is too low to stay now. Ooh, almost. I don't think that would have killed him. Trying to zone him off. He's staying really far back, so I think... I don't need to ward right here. We already have one over there. He wants somebody to come help him. Somebody will. He has to E in. If he E's to the minions here, I'll stun him. Uh, he didn't juke back. Straight line maneuver. And now I'm the mid laner.
We could go do Dragon. Warwick's somewhere in this general area. Okay, Vayne. Give it to Jinx. Nice. That was a good fight. Thought that was gonna go south because they had a they had a decent angle, but I was able to walk in still. I mean, nobody's here to take this wave, so guess what? It's mine. Oh, my cannon. Okay, I can either get Cirque shoes here or a large rod. I kind of want to opt for the large rod. Just because it's hard to get 1,250 on a base. Especially as a support. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, she lives. But they might all die to Silas. Here comes the raid boss Silas. She can just go over this wall. She's healing with red. Oh no. Oh, Kindred should have ulted. Should have saved her. I'm on a ward so he knows. Nice. I ignited him instantly, put a ward there. Even though I knew there was a pink, it would reveal him for a second. I kinda gotta go. Oh my god, I deal so much damage though. Oh my god, I actually hit him. Okay. <laughs> I'm 6-0. I'm pretty big. I mean, by the time she gets here, this is dead, so I just push it in. Got 40 seconds for this plating. I get this one. Can't get any more, though. Mordekaiser alts me. I'm pretty dead. Free money. How much have I gotten from first strike? Extra 321 gold is actually a lot. Because I saved 300 gold here. 300 gold from first strike. That's 600 gold. Two kills worth of gold for free. So, Shadow Flame here I will get. Because it'll get make the Ludens give uh, extra five magic pen. Why am I getting 10 from this? Does this support item count as a legendary item? That hurt. That did like 500 damage to Annie. Got 38 gold for a Q. I just, I don't want to get picked. If I die, they get a thousand gold. Almost a thousand gold. So I like to hover around mid. Because in mid, I can ult to top or bot and then help them. If I'm bot and they're fighting top, there's no chance I can do anything to help. Also, mid lane's shorter, so I can run away quicker if I get caught. If I get caught down here and I'm stuck back here, I'm not getting away. This guy's not getting away. Unless he flashes, of course. Oh, Mundo's really big. I get ult. Pretty blue. Oh, first strike killed him. 41 extra gold. Silas down. Yeah, for how much Sarah it seems like he's a late game champ. When you're support, you're actually... Damn, I tried to predict her tumble. I failed that time. And she died still. He's actually more early game than late. Because the later the game goes, it's kind of harder to win. It depends on the champions. But from what I've seen and from playing against Sarah support too, like, it's a lane bully. You get poked pretty hard. If you win lane against Sarah, he's not going to outscale you.
Well, I could get him a Jize or Boots. I should probably get the Boots since I waited so long. But a 10 stack seal. This is going to give 5 magic pen also. And move speed. I'm actually going to just do this. Normally I get the Boots early, but nice, yeah. We made him FF, so I'll play another one and add it on. Because I, I completely rolled bot lane so hard and even branched off the jungle in mid and stopped them from being able to play the game. So let's check out the damage chart really quick. And I'll add another one. I'll play again. Hopefully we can win quick too. Because I mean, he's highest win rate in silver for a reason. That was very easy. I didn't have to do much but land spells. 11k, 11.4k damage. Here's a rune stance. And on to game two. All right, guys, welcome to game two. This time we've got a Varus, a Poke ADC, which is really good to combo with Zareth because we'll have uh, his Comet, too, and his arrows. And then we're against a Thresh Zaya, so they have Engage with the Thresh Hook, and Zaya can jump away with her ult, but they are once again lacking Sustain. So look at that. Zaya's already chunked, just walking into lane, 20% of her health. And she has... Oh, she went for a longsword, three potions. That's actually pretty smart by her, because she is going to get poked out. But that just means she's going to have less base health, because no Dorans. And then she's going to have to use a lot of money on these... Uh, ooh, good thing he hit his ability, because I missed. Oh, yeah, look, look at her health bar. She's getting chunked. Uh, he's got to be careful. He just died. He's going to have to flash. Oh, he doesn't have flay. Okay, we're, we're lucky on that part. It was like, Thresh is level 2, he just hooked him, but no. Usually Thresh's start E and walk up to you level 1 and try to E you. Nice. Okay, there goes her heal. Oof, missed the cannon. It's not my cannon, it's his cannon. Okay, <laughs> she's tilted. Like, why is she flashing? Why did she just flash that? He already doesn't like the poke, but we don't want to let our guard down too much. We could get Nocturne ganked. It's weird that he's standing by the wall. I feel like he's... Oh, let me save this guy. We need to back up. I'm pretty sure he's going to Lantern Nocturne over the wall. Nope, Nocturne stop. He just wanted to go for a hook. Even though he has no potions, I guess I could poke him too. I just saw the bone plating, so if I hit Q on Thresh right there, I would have done a lot of reduced damage. No way they go in. We'll just kill him. I think we got him. <laughs> I just... I, I had to ignite, because an auto attack wouldn't kill him. Then I had to flash out because I would have got hooked under turret and died. But that's still worth. Help him. We gotta push this in and then go reset, spend our money. Um, Nocturne's one of Zeret's biggest counters, so it'll be interesting to see. How fed he gets. He'll make this game difficult. But besides Nocturne, I'm, I'm good into all of them. I outrange them all. And yeah. Nico, I can poke too. Oh, she hit me with a feather. I didn't get my first strike. I was about to get a double hit. Oh, she has no flash. Good thing I queued. I was going to try and give him the kill, but that lantern would have saved her if I didn't queue. Gotta hit this one. Oops. Alright, nice. I'm 2-0 and already. We're winning lane again. I can't believe Zaya flashed an ability earlier. She healed in flash. She was just very frustrated. I played against 
a poke lane like this last night. And I was getting frustrated too because I was just getting chunked for all my health just standing there. But even if you die once or twice in this lane, and you come back and you kill the Zareth and stuff, you can easily get back in the game. Like, I was e still really strong versus this. Just have to not let it get to you too much. What a dodge. Okay, they're definitely tilted because he literally just... I'll give Aeris this. Okay, spell shield's down, so he can't get close to us. Thresh is tilted there. He wanted to go in. Nocturne's not six. Now she's even more tilted. There you go. I want to hit it. Nope. Oh, God. We might have to leave our boy Varus. I don't want to ignite unless they get really low. Damn. Should have ignited neither of them or Vagar. He wants to stun me, and then Nocturne's gonna walk up and try and get me. Wave's in a good spot, though. Okay, well, at least I got all the kills, and then he died, so he didn't give him a bounty. Do chapter wand. You don't need to wait for all your mana, especially if you have a chapter. I was playing support Zareth for a long time without even getting the chapter. I just go Shadow Flame first, and it was working really well. But then they nerfed the support item mana, which I think you could still pull off Shadow Flame first, but this is more reliable. Uh oh, he went for the clone. Kane might die in one hit after he comes out. Well, I'm going to hit 6 soon. That means there's no way Zaya and Thresh are anywhere near 6. Because I'm super fed and I hit level 6. They're running. Uh, the thing we do have to watch out for is Nocturne's level 6 ult that he's going to use on us. I'm too scared to go for this. Oh, dodged. See, that's why I don't like clearing wards of Zareth. I go clear that and I get hit by anything. I die and they get a shutdown. I want Varus to clear it, because if he dies, it's not as bad for the lane. Well, Vagar's not here. It's mid. Oh. I think I got her. Down goes Zaya. Thank you for the eight gold. Thresh has to base, we get plating. Help him push this. Get it low. Kane's doing dragon. Nobody should contest because Nocturne was topside. Vagar's still mid. Vagar's leaving mid. I'm going to go check. Okay, he's mid still. Vagar's going Rod of Ages and he's 3 0, so he'll, he'll be a big problem. And then the Nocturne ulting me every fight is going to be a pretty big problem, too. Maybe I'll go roam mid try and deal with him. I'm 4-0, but he's two levels of XP on me. How did that hit? I want to flash stun him, but yeah, I figured he was going to just flash. And good thing I didn't. So I'm probably going to have to flash now. I can kill Vagar. I hit him with a W, slow him, hit a Q. He's just standing so far back. An enemy has been slain. I'm gonna push mid. Oh, I just took her cannon. Okay. He wants protection from Nocturne. This guy is standing so far back, but if I stand under his turret to try and poke him, I'm going to get Nocturne. And if Nocturne gets my shutdown, it's going to make this game so much harder to win. So I'm going to stand behind Ari. 
Oh, we got Vagar. I'm okay. Not terrible. Kane's here. If I slow him. Damn, I didn't think he was gonna flash. He had everything up too. Vagar and Nocturne had flashes there. But see how I just kinda became the mid laner because I saw Vagar was fed and I could beat him, but the Varus died. But he went one for one, that's not the end of the world. I just know that Zaya and Thresh aren't gonna be a problem as much as Nocturne will be. So that's and Vagar, so that's why I went mid for a bit. Nocturne still hasn't died yet. Oh my god, I tried to ult. But it wasn't up yet. Nocturne's top, Vagar's top. We need to get this turret, or at least as much plating. Who keeps putting these pinks here? We can get Zaya's ult here. She's dead, of course she has to ult. She's just dead. Vagar, double kill again. Holy shit. He's getting fed faster than me. But Kane might be able to be annoying for him. Nocturne's 2-0. Oh. We gotta get this turret ASAP in this lane and go mid and just stop Vagar from scaling. That's uh, Dragon. Ari's probably dead. Oh, it's Blue Kane. Okay. Blue Kane's really good versus Vagar. Okay, Nocturne failed, and it reset. They could fight there and stop that. Because Nocturne has to redo the whole Herald. Thresh is mid. I'm going to go base. I could get early Magi's. It's super risky, though, with a Nocturnal. Let's just work on the Shadow Flame. Am I high enough level for a blue trinket? One more level. Uh, I think they get the Herald. I think he's about to finish it. Unless he got off of it. I'm here. I really thought King had all, but he didn't. Varus overstayed, but I have no flash now. It's without flash, I can't leave my I can't leave turret unless I know where Nocturne is and I know his alt's down. Well, that was close. She's getting Nocturne ult if she overstays. We want this Infernal just because it's so good on Vagar. Your team has destroyed a turret. We got mid turret. That's good. I stunned him. She should have him. Nice. Almost died to Vagar there if I would have got stunned. They have objective bounty because their top lane and their bot lane are really far behind, but their mid and their jungle aren't. So this could get them even more ahead. I think Nocturne Nocturne uses ult right before he oh, he didn't go off there. I think I still might have him. Wow. 
Didn't hit him. Okay. Probably better he gets that kill. Yeah, in this one ASAP, because Nocturne with Merc Treads beats me in a 1v1 no matter what, even if I have 20 kills. Oh, she went back this way? Maybe she flashed. That should have hit her. I have Shadow Flame. There's a Zion over here. Okay, we could go do Herald. Herald, reset, 5 mid. In him, give him a game plan. Because if we we get this herald and we use it on this turret, we can easily get the turret. And then sieging five mid with a poke Ferris, poke Zareth, could be all right. Okay, Kane's gonna have a big buy, I think. He doesn't have any items yet. I'd just rather poke Thresh because he's so squishy. Just keep Vagar away. Oh wait, that's me. That's Varus bot, I think. Well, here comes the part where nobody wants to listen to the game plan. We could just... Oh no, I'm dead. Rip. Goodbye. Here comes the part where nobody listens to that game plan I set up. We just had to go five mid, but of course nobody comes mid. So now it's the game's hard because Vagar just got a thousand gold. But at least he doesn't have all. Maybe Kane can get him. So now this is going to be a 40 minute game because I got caught because they didn't listen. But I should have known the golden rule of solo queue. If you tell somebody to do something, they're going to do the opposite. Varus, Kane, and Ari went to the side lanes. Or maybe it was... I don't know. Gwen went to the side lane. Somebody was mid with me, but then they backed up. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, honestly, it's probably better it went to Vagar than me getting Nocturne ulted there and dying. Because I can still kill Vagar if he's fed. I canceled instantly because that Nocturne wasn't going to get hit by another shot. He was right on the edge of range. But, of course, the guy with the fucking Herald just gets caught and dies. Instead of waiting or using it. But at least I caught Zion. So we could probably get this turret without. I'm just going to need Peel on this Nocturne ult that's going to come for me. Unless I can poke Nocturne enough. There we go. He won't go in if he's half health. Okay. Not bad. I mean, we don't need everybody to listen to the calls. We just need a few people to come mid and listen. I don't know why Ari's been top this whole time. We can go for this. We could just keep sieging. We don't want river fights. We don't want random fights in the jungle. We want to fight in lane because the long lane is easier to hit poke and stuff. And you put a stun. Like, I don't have dashes. I don't benefit from fighting with walls and stuff, whereas they do. We are literally just standing on all of his abilities. He's gonna ult him. Kane picks Zaya. Kane's coming behind. That is Nico. Nocturne ulted to heal himself. I cannot see anything, though. You should push top. One Vagar stun is a kill on me. Is he so fun? I feel like we could keep pushing. Like, Kane literally just used it. I don't know why he used it there. It might actually get a turret, though. Alright, you know, that works. Could have just kept pushing top. But everybody backed up. I'll get the Magi's, and then we'll just go Void Staff next. 
Normally I'd go to death camp, but I have a feeling they're going to get MR. Or if they don't have any MR by the next base, I'll turn it into a horizon or something. See, they're making a mistake. You don't need to siege mid after you already have the inhib. You're just dancing for a fight and giving the team the advantage, the enemy team. Because somebody could get caught. Shoot your arrow, there you go. We need to siege top. Don't need to go mid. We already got everything mid. We gotta go somewhere else. It is over here. Oh, the sweeper shows him in this. We need to go top before that ult is up again and he gets another guaranteed kill. But Kane and Gwen are so far away. I knew it. He was going to go for a stun there. I knew exactly what Vagar was trying to do there. Wow. I'm doing massive amounts of damage. Uh, Nocturne's really low, so he can't ult me. If he ults me, I walk by wall, flash over after his ult goes in. If he has flash, I'm dead too, but if not, I might get away. But good. We will end this game out before we could throw and give them a chance to scale, because this Vagar is getting pretty scary. Wait for Kane. Vagar died. This guy's low. It is an AD gap, my threat. But Zaya says it's a support chasm. But yeah. Nice. Did everything I could to try and win that game as fast as possible because I do not like Nocturne. Not bad. So I hope you guys learned something or anything from those two games or you just want to see me stomp. Fine. But yeah, make sure you to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with more videos. Thank you again for watching. Look at that 30k damage I did in 23 minutes. 1100 on first strike, gained almost 900 gold that game. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you get a mouse pad from my website, swag.gg, if you want one. And see you later. Peace.